Hello students! Welcome to Grade 10 Science Lesson. Today, we will be discussing Gay-Lussac's Law. Joseph Louis Gay-Lussac, 1778-1850. He was a French chemist and physicist. The picture depicts a sample of gas molecules in a container and heat is applied. When the temperature of a sample gas in a container increases, the pressure of the gas increases as well. This is because the gases have more kinetic energy, causing them to heat the walls of the container with more force, resulting in greater pressure. From the graph, pressure increases with an increase in temperature and vice versa. A temperature-pressure relationship, also known as Gay-Lussac's Law, states that at constant volume, the pressure of a fixed mass of gas is directly proportional to the absolute temperature. Tandaan ang dalawang properties of gas in Gay-Lussac's Law, pressure and temperature. It also says here that it is directly proportional. Ibig sabihin, kapag mataas si temperature, mataas din si pressure. At kapag si temperature ay nag-decrease, the pressure decreases as well. And that is the Gay-Lussac's Law. Gay-Lussac's Law can be expressed mathematically as pressure is directly proportional to its temperature. It can be written as pressure is equal to proportionality constant temperature in Kelvin. Proportionality constant is equal to pressure over temperature. In equation, P sub 1 over T sub 1 is tantamount to P sub 2 over P sub 2. Let us have the Gay-Lussac's Law equation. Gay-Lussac's Law is expressed in this equation. P sub 1 over T sub 1 is equal to P sub 2 over T sub 2, where P sub 1 or P1 means initial pressure, T sub 1 or T1 means initial temperature. P sub 2 ay ang ating final pressure at T sub 2 or T2 ay ang ating final temperature. Tandaan na kapag nakakakita kayo ng subscript na 1, ibig sabihin we are referring to the initial condition of the properties of gases. At kapag subscript na 2, that means the final condition of the properties of gases. And that is the Gay-Lussac's Law Equation. Subukan natin ang sample problem. The pressure of a nitrogen gas inside a rigid tank is 1.7 atmosphere at 30 degrees Celsius. Compute for the resulting pressure if the tank is cooled to 0 degrees Celsius. Ang una nating dapat gawin ay identify ang given. Initial pressure is 1.7 atmosphere. Initial temperature is 30 degrees Celsius. It says here that compute for the resulting pressure. Ilagay mo na si question mark kay final pressure at ang ating final temperature is 0 degrees Celsius. Tandaan na kailangan muna natin i-convert ang temperature sa Kelvin. Ang initial temperature natin ngayon ay 303.15 Kelvin. Nagdagdag lang tayo ng 273.15 sa 30 degrees Celsius. At sa final temperature naman, it is equal to 273.15 Kelvin. Next, solution. Write the formula, initial pressure over initial temperature is equal to final pressure over final temperature. Cross multiply nat, pinagsama natin ang final pressure at initial temperature. And initial pressure and final temperature. Ang ating ngayong formula is 
final pressure times initial temperature is equal to initial pressure times final temperature. Since kailangan natin itong i-derive dahil ang unknown natin ay ang final pressure. Same procedure lang din tayo, same with the Boyle's Law and Charles Law. Kailangan natin ma-eliminate si initial temperature at maiwan natin ang unknown which is the final pressure. Babalang natin ang initial temperature. Ganon din sa other side of the equation. Cancel natin initial temperature at initial temperature sa denominator. Our new formula is final pressure is equal to initial pressure times final temperature over initial temperature. Ngayon, mag-substitute na tayo. Ang ating initial pressure is 1.7 atmosphere. Ang ating final temperature is 273.15 Kelvin. At ang ating initial temperature is 303.15 Kelvin. Cancel natin si Kelvin para maiwan ang desired unit which is atmosphere. 1.7 multiplied by 273.15. The answer is 464.36 atmosphere. It will be divided by 303.15. Balik tayo sa given. Again, Directly proportional ang pressure sa temperature. Dito ang temperature natin ay 303.15 Kelvin. Mas mataas sa initial temperature kesa sa final temperature. So ang expect natin sagot ay mababa. Let's see. I-divide lang natin ang 464.36 atmosphere to 303.15. The answer is 1.53 atmosphere. 1.53 atmosphere, mas mababa siya kesa sa initial pressure. Ibig sabihin, ang pressure ay nag-decrease dahil ang temperature ay naging 0 degrees Celsius. Learners, maaari ninyong subukan ang ating pangalawang sample problem. Pwede ninyong i-post ang video na ito pagkatapos kong basahin ang ating problem. At 18 degrees Celsius, a confined ammonia gas has a pressure of 2 atmosphere. At what temperature would its pressure be equal to 760 millimeters of mercury? Again, identify muna natin ang mga given. Initial pressure is 2 atmosphere. Initial temperature ay 18 degrees Celsius. Iko-convert natin yan sa Kelvin. Ang ating final pressure is 760 millimeters of mercury. At ang tanong dito, at what temperature? Ano natin final temperature? May napapansin ba kayo, learners, sa ating given? Tama, magkaiba ang unit ng initial pressure which is atmosphere, at ang ating final pressure ay millimeters of mercury. Ang ating initial temperature ay 291.15 Kelvin. Again, nagdagdag lang tayo ng 273.15 sa ating 18 degrees Celsius. Convert natin si pressure. Alam naman natin na ang 760 millimeters of mercury ay katumbas ng 1 atmosphere. 760 millimeters of mercury ay tantamount sa 1 atmosphere. Solution, sulat lang natin ang ating formula which is initial pressure over initial temperature is equal to final pressure over final temperature. We have to cross multiply para ma-derive natin ang formula. Same lang din halos ng pag-derive natin sa nauna nating sample problem. But here, ang unknown is the final temperature. So bring down initial pressure, same with the other side. And then cancel initial pressure. Our new formula is the final temperature is equal to final pressure times initial temperature over initial pressure. Let us now substitute all the given. Final temperature is equal to ang ating final pressure is 1 atmosphere. Ang ating initial temperature ay 291.15 Kelvin. At ang ating initial pressure is 
2 atmosphere. Cancel atmosphere and then 1 multiply by 291.15 Kelvin which is our desired unit. 291.15 Kelvin over 2. The answer is 145.58 Kelvin. Ang final temperature natin ay mas mababa compared sa initial temperature dahil mataas ang initial pressure compared sa final pressure. Sana ay nakuha mo ang tamang sagot. Applications of Gay-Lussac's Law Practical example of Gay-Lussac's Law is the pressure cooker. The accumulated steam increases the pressure and the boiling point of water. The pressure cooker utilizes high pressure to cook food in one-third the time required by conventional method. The pressure cooker saves food value, tenderizes tough meat such as beef, and saves fuel by about 50%. Next application of Gain-Lussac's Law is Tire Bursting Dahil sa sobrang init ng panahon, ang temperatura ng gas sa loob ng gulong ay mataas. Therefore, as a consequence of Gay-Lussac's Law, ang pressure ng gulong ay tataas din. Iyan ang dahilan kung bakit nangyayari ang tire bursting. For our last application of Gay-Lussac's Law, we have pressurized aerosol. Halimbawa natin ay ang spray paint. Ayon sa Gay-Lussac's Law, ang pressure ng gas ay tataas kapag ito ay may mataas na temperatura. Dahil dito, ang mga pressurized aerosol ay maaari lamang i-stored above 120 degrees Fahrenheit or 49 degrees Celsius. These cans are built to withstand a certain internal pressure and beyond that pressure, the can will explode. At iyan lamang ay ilan sa application ng Gay-Lussac's Law. Sana ay may natutunan kayo about Gay-Lussac's Law. Enjoy learning because science matters. Good day!